is up welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is nikki for those who don't know today is sunday february the 5th yes february the 5th and um this is the start of a new blog Welcome, to welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, pour me some drink of some water. So some of you may know, some of you may not know. Today is the start of my weight loss journey. Um, if you go back and take a look at um previous video, you will see or you will hear and see <laughs> what I'm doing to um, start this process, this journey, and process this journey. Today, where well, it's night now, y'all know I work overnight. Um, I get out, I got off at 6.30 this morning. Um, and I pretty much came home and crashed. I was tired, my body ached. So it is now, um, what time is it? It is now 7.30 p.m. And I'm really just getting up. I got up earlier. But I started looking at, you know, some of my faves on YouTube. And I'm going to talk about some of my faves later on. Um, I started looking at some of my faves when I got up today earlier. But I started getting sleep. I felt like I didn't get enough sleep. So I feel back to sleep. <laughs> So now I am up and I say, you know what, let me start this vlog. I'm supposed to be starting my uh, weight loss journey and talking to you guys and get your butt up and you can do something. Hey, it is what it is. This is a journey for me. This is a new life journey for me, a new process, a resurrection for me, a rebirth of me, of who I am. So anyway, we're going to get started with the vlog. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are new, if you are new and you want to uh, journey with me on this journey, make sure you subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Comment down below if you are on one yourself. If you know anybody else who may be on one or who can relate to any of my videos, share it out and give the video a thumbs up y'all helps me grow helps me grow your girl's trying to get to a thousand by the end of the year that is one of my goals for youtube and to pretty much succeed and to and, and just enjoy the process enjoy the journey you know i showed y'all last um vlog that i was taking um some my pills and i put i already put them separated into my pill box um this is actually almost a full month's worth. Almost a full month's worth. I had a little bit left in the bottle. But we starting. This is a pill box that says uh, sun, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. But this is the morning. This is the noontime, evening, and bedtime. But I'm not going to follow that process i'm just going to use this as a day one day two three four five six seven eight nine and like that so on i take my um, multivitamins once a day but my golo pills i take one with each meal i have i supposed to take three a day but i really don't eat three times a day but i'm gonna just start off as Whenever I eat, <laughs> I'm going to take a pill. So that's how we're going to do it. I'm going to be starting with Sunday. I haven't even taken my vitamins yet, y'all. I haven't even taken my multivitamins yet. So I got two of my multivitamins right here. I'm going to take them. I don't like these ones. These ones taste like medicine. I mean, it's like when you pop it in your own mouth. And you smell it, it smells like medicine. And it initially tastes like medicine. But as you chew it and chew it and chew it, you get the fruitiness of the gummies. 
And I, I like the, I like taking the gummies. But let me show y'all which one is all. Which one I'm taking. Right now I'm taking the one a day advanced multivitamin. It's for it's safe for 50 plus. I'm not 50 yet. I have two more years before I turn 50, but I'm taking these. I got these off Amazon. This was the wrong kind because I normally don't take these. I normally take these right here. The central multi gummy vitamins. And this one say multi and, and beauty. But they have a different kind. They have a centrum um, 50 plus. Um, they have one for your hair, nails, and skin. But as I was saying before, I really dropped y'all. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But um, yeah, they have um, different central multivitamins for women. Um, this one is the multi plus beauty multi gummies and it support a healthy and beautiful body hair nails and skin but they also have one that just says um hair hair nails and skin so um this come in cherry berry and orange flavors so this is what i take um normally but like i said i got that other one from um amazon and it it tastes medicinely medicine C, medicine B, something like that. You take it with or without food or water. I, I said I was going to finish this because I bought it and I'm not going to waste my money, so I'm going to finish this one. But anyway, those are the two multivitamins. Well, the multivitamin I take was is actually this one. <laughs> I know I'm repeating myself. I'm so sorry. But anyway, so these are how the Go Low pills look. You're supposed to take um, three of these a day with each meal. It's called release. Um, and it's supposed to increase your um, metabolic rate, improve your immunity, give you more energy and vitality, lower your health risk factors. This is, I'm, I'm reading it right from the book right here. Um, reduce stress, improve di digestion, um, help you reduce or eliminate your medications that you may take um, better sleep and improve your mood um, it helps you with your overall steady uh, weight loss and gets you on to eating uh, healthy you know and clean and um, they have a pretty successful for what I have read um, so we're going to track uh, we're gonna we're gonna try this and see what it does i got a three month supply so after three months i'm gonna buy another set and um until i can get to my goal weight i really want it to actually help me um sustain my appetite for sweets junk food um because that is my number one nemesis so I'm, I'm hoping it'll help me but I'm about to eat my mom cooked today uh, she cooked some chicken as y'all saw at the beginning chicken uh, broccoli and corn so this is my first time actually eating today cuz like I said I was tired I came upstairs and I pretty much crashed you know what I'm saying I pretty much crashed so I'm about to take my pill you know drinking some water and yeah so bon appetit so while while I'm sitting here stepping my face I'm going to talk to y'all about who are y'all go-to YouTubers that you watch every day? You know, you you look on the, um, you pull up your phone and put up YouTube to see if they posted a video. Or, the you know, the ones that you have, your notifications set for all on. You know, some of them you, you, you are, some people you subscribe to, you don't have that notification 
on to set to all notifications. You just have it set, you know, notifications. So it's like, if you get a notification from them, okay, that's good. You'll watch. But if you don't get a notification them, you're not mad about it. You know what I'm saying? But I have, I have a couple YouTubers that I watch that I have my notification bell on set to all. There's a couple I have been watching um, for years and a young lady I have been watching for years. So my notification has been on to all for them for a long time. And... I absolutely love these ladies. They all inspire. All of these ladies that I watch are inspiring. And they make you want to, you know, go out and do your YouTube, you know. Especially if you, tra you know, you would like to start a YouTube channel. And you know, be successful with it. Such as these ladies. And some of them I just recently... Um, found last month in December and have been watching them since then. But I'm not greedy, but no napkin. By the way, y'all, I'm not on a complete, complete diet or well, this is not a diet to me. It's a, it's a life change journey. But I'm not going to, I mean, quit cold turkey. It's going to be steps as far as my clean eating. But um, <clears throat> I'm just starting out and I'm going to eat less of what I've been eating. Because normally I would get like two pieces of chicken, big helping of my sides, and maybe drink a soda or some juice or something. Well, I'm lowering my portions or whatever I eat. I don't eat fried. Like talking about it. I don't really don't eat fried. I don't even. I don't fry stuff. I bake it. Or I boil it. Broil it. Whatever how you say it on top of the stove. Anyway, I don't really fry any anything unless I really get in the mood to fry something. If you see me eat something and you say, oh, that's not healthy. Well, just know this is the beginning um i'm working towards eating you know that healthy uh fish more vegetables more fruit you know the outside of the store you know i <laughs> i know i was talking about youtubers at first but i'm gonna just jump on this subject right quick um somebody once told me that somebody told them they went to a new nutrition class and um they told me the person that was teaching the nutrition class said when you shop and you want to eat healthy when you shop shop on the outside of the store you know the, the outside on the walls if you go inside down the aisles that's where you get the processed foods and everything the junk food canned foods the chips the sodas you know sweet cereals all that that's where you get you know, on the inside of the aisles. But if you shop on the outside, you got your fruits and your vegetables on the outside. You know, if you go into a store, you got your, um, dead, I mean, your well, I mean, produce on one side, but it's, it's, you know, against the wall. Um, and then if you walk around, you get your um, other stuff, like your freezer foods, uh, your, your meats, and continue walk around. Um, I got food line um, out of, uh, shoot, I have food line um, silhouette in my mind of the building. So I'm pretty much basing this off of food line, which is a grocery store chain here in Virginia. And, um, you know, you start with the produce on, on, on the right side and you walk around and you walk around until your meats and uh keep going you walk into your your frozen foods like and then you walk to the fish section um where they sell seafood at then you walk around you walk into your dairy um as far as your milk your cheese your eggs 
they are on the outside and stuff like that. But anyway, <laughs> I thought I'd uh, throw that out there. But um, as I was saying, who are your favorite YouTube people that you watch and who inspire you? Well, I have quite a few. And I'm going to tell you who they are and why. Well, this person I have been watching for years. Um, she was in a relationship for a long time. Then, past recent couple of years, she's not in a relationship. They broke up. But I continue to watch her because she's so inspiring. She, all these ladies are beautiful in and out. But, you know, you have those who hit you, you can relate to in certain ways. Um, their personalities. Everybody brings something different to the table. You know, even though if they may be vlogging, doing, pretty much doing the same thing, um... You look at their personalities, and if they can, you know, they relate to you in some way, shape, or form, you know, you can continue to watch. So, anyway, this young lady, um, I'm, and I'm going, I don't care, if I'm going to drop names. I'm not clout chasing or whatever, but I'm just telling you who inspired me on this YouTube channel. So, really, yours truly, LaWanta, LaWanta. Well, you know what? I was like, she calling herself Lawanza. Is that her name? I thought, I, th I thought that was a very unique name. I never heard of that. But Lily Lewis truly, she's a single mom of two. Um, she vlogs her life. She's an entrepreneur. She's a beautiful person, inside and out. And I watches her faithfully. Every time she drops a video, I'm there. And I watched Lily because, like I said, I've been watching her for years when she was with her ex. And it was just something about her spirit that I adored. For one, she is beautiful. Um, and she just, she's a mom. I, I was a mom, a young mom. Um, and I just related to her on that, on that level. Um, and I absolutely adored her spirit. She can she can drop gems on you. Um, she's spiritual, and she like I said she she drop gems and it's like when she talk, she makes you want to listen. You know what I'm saying? And and I, I I just continue to watch her even after her breakup with her girlfriend. Um, I continue to watch her because I can relate to. We're both Libras, um, and then she you know some of the the the. Uh, characteristics that Libras have she says she has and I say I have and I I was like you know one time she was dropping you know like I'm gonna give you an example um Libras are emotional she's an emotional person I'm an emotional person um Libras are in a way people pleasing She's like that. I'm like that. Um, it was one, though. Oh, codependent. She did mention, you know, she was codependent. And she just started explaining. And I was like, you know what? That's me. I'm codependent. I self-diagnose myself as codependent. I'm a Libra. But, um, and I have heard that about Libras. If you follow that type of astrology stuff um and you into that stuff me personally i'm not per se but if i see um a trait that may pertain to me as far as being a libra hey that's what it is but i i relate to her in so many ways you know she's younger than me um but don't knock the younger people. You know, some of these young these younger people feel like they were here already. You know what I'm saying? Um, they know more than you. So, 
you can you can you can relate from them and learn from them but she is um just a beautiful person inside and out and i actually adore her spirit and adore you know and i you know listen to what she be saying you know but lily yours truly she's a blogger here on youtube so she's um one of my top favorites um also i watch nick and carla now they are a married couple um they have been doing youtube for a long time they were truck drivers um i i started walk, watching them when they were truck drivers and then um they got out of truck driving to do youtube full time and they have been um prospering prospering ever since um i love the both of them they they are younger than me all these ladies i believe are younger than me all these ladies are younger than me but like i said don't knock the younger insp you know inspiration don't knock the younger generation so um let me take another bite of this chicken y'all So Nick and Carla, they are a reaction channel, and they react. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say what they say. They react to some of the hottest content on YouTube. <laughs> so I watch them. I, like I said, I've been watching them for a long time, even before they was um, reacting. Well, it was a reaction channel. They was a trucking channel. They, like I said, they drove trucks. So I just absolutely love those ladies. Like I said, they're younger than me, and the wisdom that they be putting down. Yes, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Even though they are young, it's like they make when they talk. Both of them, Nick and Carla. They make you want to listen, you know, and it's like they've been here before. They, their wisdom is out off the chain. I mean, and, and on top of that, they're funny. Both of them are funny. It's crazy heavy laughing and, and cracking up. But they they react to um, the vlog channel. They react to Lily, um, Goddamn Zoe, um, Glamazon Tay. They react to um, other things too. Also, they are entrepreneurs. They have a podcast. They are just beautiful ladies and their souls are beautiful. And I just love when they speak. And they are on, you know, as far as the eating healthy and everything like that and into herbs and stuff like that so i just love them ladies and i love watching them so they are on my top um youtubers to watch nick and carlo look them up <laughs> um also and these people i just recently found um last month um, maybe beginning of Vlogmas, somewhere in between December. So I've only been watching them, you know, about a, a month, month and a half maybe. So anyway, these these ladies are younger than me. They're both beautiful inside and out. I can't stress that enough. I don't know why, but they are beautiful, you know. Um, uh, Gina Janine. Love her, love her, love her. Her spirit is just contagious. She's funny. I just love the expression she be giving. <laughs> she be giving. Um, she was a young mother. Um, she vlogger, entrepreneur. I think she. Uh, well, I think she started. She's going to be starting um, something that may, you know, benefit her in the future. You know, provide that that that. You know, for her and her family, she has two kids, and she is absolutely adorable. I love watching her. Um, Portia Nicole, she is one of them, too. She's uh, 
wash your shoes. You don't have any kids, but um, she's a beautiful soul too. She's in the military. Um, who else I watch? I am Chelsea Janae. Love Chelsea. Love Chelsea. She's definitely inspiring, soft spoken. Um, but she, she, um, I like watching her, you know, she's beautiful. Um, her vlogs be amazing. Um, actually, I just finished watching her um, vlog, she just put up. But, <laughs> uh, who else do I watch? All these ladies, uh, pretty much have, you know, something I can relate to. Uh, with my girl, Rock Rochelle, Rochelle, Rochelle. Anyway, I just recently found this young lady, maybe a couple weeks ago, maybe the end of December, I think. She came across my um, my timeline, and I have been watching her ever since. I love her. She is so funny. Oh, my gosh. She went through, I just recently um, found out, maybe, like, when I first watched her, because I, I kind of binge watch a little bit. When I found her... Um, I ain't found her, but she found me because she came across my, you know, you know, when you watch certain videos on YouTube and, um, the other ones start popping, you know, they're popping up and YouTube suggested, suggest these videos to you. So she was suggested to me and I watched that video and I kind of started binge watching on, um, her videos, you know. And I saw that she had lost everything in a apartment. She was staying in an apartment and she lost everything. And I just was so amazed how, you know, I'm pretty sure it hurt, you know. And she was upset. She was devastated that she lost everything. But you should see the lady come back, man. The lady come back is fierce, and I admire that. And I just, I couldn't, you know, imagine losing everything in, in a house fight. It's such a blessing she didn't lose her life, you know. Thank God, thank God for that. But she is hilarious. When I say she's funny, she's funny, she's beautiful, she's funny. And she, you know, she's doing this YouTube thing and everything. I watch her. Uh, who else I watch? I watch some more people. Drill baby, a drill, a, a drill baby. You want to come? You want to become a drill baby? <laughs> a drill. I watch her. Just recently started watching her. And I think it's a couple more. I'm sorry, y'all can't come to my mind right now, but those are these young ladies are the um people that i watch every day and um i absolutely adore them and you know they are inspiring and i'm trying to do you know the vlog thing and um you know the hauls and they travel i you know i want to travel this is the the year i call this the year of the butterfly for me so um if you, a, but, a butterfly represents, I looked it up, a butterfly represents, and I have it on my vision uh, 2023 board. I made a vision board at the beginning of the year. Um, and when I looked it up, it says a butterfly represents new beginnings, rebirth, resurrection, and transformation. And this year, pretty much, that is all about me. So, this year is called for me it's called the year of the butterfly if you see butterflies in my um oh shucks oh i almost knocked my food over y'all see butter butterflies coming everywhere y'all i'm gonna start putting them in my vlogs you know like cartoon butterflies flying everywhere but anyway yeah so i just wanted to touch on that um youtubers that uh i watch who inspire me to you know do what i'm doing and if y'all continue on this journey with me, you're going to see the all, you know, see the things that I have in store. 
it's going to be a step-by-step -step process. Um, I can't do all at once because I want to do hauls, um, shopping hauls, try on hauls. Um, travel. And try to come up with more ways to make money. <laughs> I ain't going to count with you. I want to have like seven, five to seven different streams of income coming in. Right now, I am living with my mom. If y'all go back into the videos, y'all will know why. To the beginning of my videos, y'all will know why I'm living with my mom. Not going to go over with that. I mean, go over again. Just those are, those are the YouTubers that I watch faithfully. They inspire me to get up and make this YouTube thing work. So, hit that subscribe button and join me. My food is cold, but I don't care. Feel pretty good. So, if you watched the previous video, you will know I'm. I told you that I'm starting my weight loss journey and my self care appreciation for myself. All year we're doing self care, self love. I have to learn to love myself again and to take care of me. You know, my body, mind, spirit, soul. So, year of transformation, y'all rebirth so in my last vlog i said i was starting my self-appreciation bucket and this is my self-appreciation bucket my butterfly fell on me i'm gonna have to here she is here my butterfly she fell on me i had a I had a sticking right here i think i'm gonna super glue her. see if i can super glue her on because she ain't staying anyway this is my self-appreciation bucket I made. This was inspired by Chelsea Janae. I am Chelsea Janae. And I kind of decorated it all the way around. And I put I put in here things I want to do for myself every week um, on my days off. I am off Sunday through Wednesday. And I... I am going to be picking one every week and I have to do it no questions asked no questions asked so we are going to pick one for me to do this week so let's see what we come up with um I got about one two three four five six seven. I maybe probably got about 15 to 20 things in here I think but I'm gonna pick one and when I pick one I'm gonna put it back because I don't have that that much you know so if y'all know anything any any self self-care self-appreciation ideas ideas put it in the comments please help me out please help me out so let me mix it up, let me mix it up. Let me it up. all right so now i got one and whatever this is i have to do it i have to do it no questions asked no questions asked so let's see what it is. Let's see what it is. Oh, I don't know why I'm so freaking nervous, man. I'm so freaking nervous. Okay. All right. So this week I got to take a walk. All right. So I will be doing this this week. Take a walk. I have to do it. No questions asked. So I'm gonna close this back up and put it back in in the bucket. Even if I get it again. I might not have to do it. If I have to do these repetitively, then that's what it is until I come up with some, some other stuff. So it's going back anyway. We will be taking a walk sometime this week. I don't know when. I don't know where yet. But this week, we're going to be taking a walk. Self-appreciation, transformation. That's also the start of my weight loss journey. All right, so we did the self-appreciation, but and also, y'all, I did receive um, 
some mail. I ordered Scentbird. Scentbird is a subscription-based um, perfume company. So I opened it. Let me show you how it looks. This is my first time. Um, I was watching Lily, um, yours truly, and she did a uh, sponsor promo thing. She had a partnership with them, and if you use her code, you got um, a certain amount off on your first subscription. After that, the subscription is um, $16.95 for one. If you want to get two, it's another price of three. You could get up to three if you want. Um, right now, I'm starting off with one. And it is going to be $17 a month. But, um, so when I used her code, my first, um, my first, on well, my first order, which is this one, it was $8. But after that, it's going to be $17 a month. I'm going to try to keep this for a, a year, you know, build up on my perfume collection through Scentbird. This is how they come. They come in this little, this pouch right here. And it says Scentbird. And it like this, y'all. Look at this. Isn't this too cute? I I found out they sent me a, 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 a email. They have different colors of these too, so I think I'm gonna um, start getting different colors. But look at this. You twist this right. This is that's the unlock position, and then you use this to lock it. See, we're gonna unlock it, and I think I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, Lily showed us. This comes off. This comes off like that. And this is our, how the bottle looks. So you get, um, this is the DKNY Be Delicious perfume. And it comes like that. So you get inspired um, perfume scents. It's not the real, it's not the real thing, but it's, I, I believe it's similar you know i think that's how how it works um it says on the back independently repackaged by scentbird incorporated they're based out in new jersey and they got a disclaimer scentbird repackages genuine fragrances into our scentbird per spray okay scentbird is not associated with the designer or the designers manufactured in any way. As Lily and them say, it's it's an inspired fragrance um, that Scentbird provides to you as a monthly description um, of different different name uh, name brand scents. And I got the DKNY in my first in my first subscription. Um, so. You could change a case, you know. You could buy like a pink case and change it to. I thought that was awesome. So you put it up there and you put it back in the lock position. You press down, it comes out of this whole, this little thing right here. Let's see. Oh, you got to twist it to the unlock position. And there it is. It smells so good. You put it back in the lock position. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. DKNY. I remember this from back in the day. Oh, oh, oh yes. Oh yeah. So it came with a card. And on the back of the card, it says, welcome to Scentbird. We're thrilled. Y'all blind as a bet. Forgive me. <laughs> it says, welcome to Scentbird. We're thrilled you're here. Discover a world of fragrance month after month. Make the most of your subscription. You rate your scent. You tell them what you think about it. After you tried it out. Uh, you head to your profile. It says rate your, your fragrance. The more you rate, the better your recommendations become. So, I'm going back to the, to the website. I'm going to recommend. Now, I ain't going to recommend. I'm going to rate it. And I guess they, you know, 
give you different recommendations of what scents to try. Um, say update your queue. Want to plot out the next few months or make last minute additions? You can make changes to your queue until the day before your billing date. So if they come out with a, um, a scent to send you, you can go and I guess if you, you know, you see what they're going to send you, you can go back and change it. Say after that point, your monthly fragrance selection will be locked in. So if you don't go and change it before, uh, before your billing date, they're going to send you whatever, you know. Um, but, but when you sign up, you can pick your, your fragrance, your, your next three fragrance. You just got to make sure you lock that in before your um, billing date of the next month. Uh, and it say and any cute updates will apply next month's fragrance. And uh, tell your friends, sharing Scentbird with your friends has serious benefits for every friend you refer you each get a free fragrance added to your account once they, once they sign up. And um, if y'all would like to sign up, I would have my referral code in my description. Um, not only it says that we'll each get a free fragrance added to our account um, once you sign up. That helps me out too because I can get a free months free, you know. So if you would like to sign up for Scentbird, the uh, link will be in my description. Um, so that's that a card they send you, and they also tell send you a card of what you ordered, and I think that's how the original bottle looks. And it's called DKNY. Your fragrance this month is. At, they say that at the bottom. Your fragrance this month is DKNY. Let's say DKNY. This is on the back. DKNY. Be delicious. Plush Magnolia Refreshing Green Apple and Dewy Cucumber Shimmer over a floral trio of. Oh, my eyesight is bad. I need to go get my eyes checked again. A floral trio of. Two rose soft ballads and powdery roses accented with white wools, white woods, and silken amber. And it's and it shows you the ingredients down here. And it tells you it shows you there's green apple right here, grapefruit, cucumber, two rows, and white woods. So those are the um the combination of what DKNY smells like right there. Right there. Can y'all I know if I get too close to be blurry or whatever, but but yeah. I think I'ma like this. I think I'ma like this. This this um gonna help me build up on my um sense. But I need to re go get my eyes checked. Good look. I, what I need, I need bifocals. And <laughs> I'm going to be wanting to get them. For one day, I spent some this crap. I mean, last time I went, they told me my bifocals were going to be like $600. I'm like, shit, I don't have $600 to give y'all. So I'm let me just go the regular way. So now I'm paying for it. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so that's a, my first subscription, my first Scentbird fragrance dkny be delicious and it smells good y'all i wouldn't spray too much on it because it is strong it is a strong scent so i probably feel like squirt squirt that's it so like i said if y'all would like to sign up for a subscription my referral code will be in the description i'm gonna be getting so many different kinds and I got also one more thing to show y'all in today's video. I um, will be doing um, hauls for rainbows. 
Rainbows is a clothing um, chain. They offer plus size clothing, shoes, and um, other things. I have actually have a rainbow here in, uh, you know, by me, but some, a lot of times they don't have four X's. So I would have to go online and purchase those. That's why pretty much too, I stopped buying a lot of things for myself because I can't find anything in my size. And, um, you know, these small girls, they be having these nice looking clothes and stuff. My body size is, is really a 3X, but I get four because of my boobs. My boobs are big and um, my arms. So, hence the weight loss journey. I'm trying to lose the weight and get a little slim. But anyway, not on that subject right now, but we're on rainbow subject. They sent me a um, email and said that they had shoes on sale uh ten dollars i think it was you if you buy at least two pair they're ten dollars a piece so i ordered me two pair of shoes these are summer shoes you will not see them on me right now because my feet look jacked up and y'all are not about to clown me in the comments no but i got two pairs and this is one of them Yeah, I thought these was really cute. Look at that big bow. I like little girly girl shoes like this. These are a size 11. I wear a 10, 10 and a half. Um, they didn't have a 10 and a half and my feet is wide. So uh, I went up a size. This is a size 11. So I got that. And I got another pair. Both of these were ten dollars. And there is the name of the the book roll. So y'all will see these on when it starts getting hot outside. And I get my feet done. I don't get my feet done like talking about it, so I'm gonna have to start doing them myself. Cause I you know I really kind of I used to get my feet done all the time, but then I had stopped. I was going, you know, to the to the shop. I didn't. I couldn't find anybody to really get into getting my feet. Really getting to getting my feet. Really, really getting my feet. You know, looking decent. I'm a. I think I'm gonna buy me a foot spa. Start soaking my feet and take care of my. I need to. Anyway, I need to do that. But this is the other one I got. Ain't that cute? Got a buckle. This is a, also a size 11. And, you know, hard on the bottom. Little platform, little platform. I got these for $10. $10 a piece. If you bought, they were handed to, if you, I think they were normally like $12 or $12.99, something like that. But if you bought two or more, you got them for $10. So I paid $20. $21 and some change for these. I'm going to try them on, but y'all won't see it so bad. But anyway, so that is uh, what I got. Oh, hold on. What is this in this? In this there's something else in here. Girl, girl why? <laughs> what in the world is this? Girl, they sent me a little snicker. Pool. I'm not eating this. <laughs> I didn't even know they were sending it, but this is promotion for Snickers. It's an almond brownie. I guess this something is new. But being that I'm weaning off chocolate and candy and stuff, I'm not going to eat this. But anyway, uh, if I need to return, it comes with the return um, sticker. And, okay, these came up to... Yeah, it was twenty one twenty plus the shipping was seven ninety nine. The total came up to twenty nine nineteen for those two pairs. They was twelve ninety nine. I was right. They was twelve ninety nine a piece, 
but I got it on sale for ten dollars because I bought two pair and the whole thing was twenty nine nineteen with the shipping. So I'm anxious to see how this go feel on my feet. So Alright guys, alright guys. So that was it. That was it. Glad we had this little talk and y'all here to follow me on my journey. This is not the end of the vlog. It's just a see you later. This is just day one. Um, let me tell you what I got going on for the week. Oh, oh, one more thing. I am starting uh, the 100 envelope challenge. I was going to do 50 envelope challenge, but I say, why not? Let me try this 100 envelope challenge. So I am starting that. So I will be dashing on my days off. Unfortunately, I can't bring you guys along with me because I use my phone and I record from my phone. I do everything from my phone. Uh, but one, I do not have internet here at the house, uh, which I need to. Y'all see my pillows? I'm not bed mess up. I'm not gonna tell you. I've been, I've been asleep all day, y'all. It's, it is what it is. Uh, but I do everything from my phone. I record from my phone. People call me on my phone, of course. Um, everything on my phone. I don't have another device to record and um, upload to my computer because I do not have internet service right now. I do plan to get it. I don't know when, um, but I'm not ready to add another bill that I have to pay, you know. So, as of right now, I'm using my phone until I can get, um, you know, proper equipment as far well as the camera and internet so I can upload my footage to my computer and then, um, you know, to you guys. They get it out to you guys. So, until that time, I will be using my phone. So, I am going to be dashing on my days off to complete my 100 envelope challenge and i have started it so i got 100 envelopes in here and for those who don't know the 100 envelope challenge is you get whatever how many envelopes you want to start with um you can get one through 50 you get one through 100 you can get one through 200 and whatever it's up to you and whatever number you put on that envelope that's the amount of dollars you have to put in the envelope so if you, you know you started out with envelope number one you put one dollar in there envelope number two you put two dollars in there envelope number three you put three dollars in there you get what i'm saying and so on and so on and so on um but i have got seven envelopes stuffed already but i'm gonna tell you if you do like i said one by one the hundred envelope challenge you can save what they say a little bit over five thousand dollars five thousand dollars and i have never ever saved five thousand dollars so y'all i'm taking a little step further i'm gonna push for ten thousand dollars you know what i'm saying do you hear me do you hear me so what i am doing instead of putting seven dollars in this envelope i put 14. so instead of putting one dollar in my first envelope i put two dollars i'm doubling up to see if i can see to see if I can save 10 grand, y'all. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so I am on envelope eight. <laughs> I'm laughing because I, y'all, I'm laughing because I, <laughs> it's funny. I'm, me save 10 grand? Is it possible? Can I do this? You know what? Nothing beats a failure but a try. You know you heard that before. So I'm going to try. 
but I'm on envelope number eight. So when it's time for me to stuff these, I'm going to come back on camera and show y'all that I'm stuffing them. You know, I didn't. <laughs> so you will stuff them and seal them and try not to go in them. <laughs> try not to go back in them. That's why I'm laughing, y'all, because I'm prone to go back in them. <laughs> so anyway, um, this is another challenge I'm trying. So I'm on envelope number eight. <sighs> Wish me luck on that. So that's what I'm doing. All right, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and hop off. Um, thank you so much for listening to me today. Like, comment, and subscribe. If you're new, please join me on this journey. Hit that subscribe button, okay? Um, and yeah, I'm going to see y'all later on in the week. Uh, we know we got to go on a walk. Um, I don't know what day I'm going to put. I'm going to go on a walk. Because um, it is cold out. But I have to go on a walk. I don't know where. Y'all know. When I find out, y'all find out. <laughs> So, thank y'all so much for watching. I love y'all. Stay safe and stay blessed. And we're going to see y'all tomorrow.